What was said about red on dark skin? What was said about red on black women? Come again? Juvia's place that we got a red for everybody. Hey guys, welcome and so welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate Penda. If you are tuned in today, we are going to throw it back with an old school lip swatch video. Juvia's Place just dropped new lipsticks, lip glosses, and liquid lipsticks and liners, a full collection called The Reds and The Berries. And I'm going to be swatching all of the shades for you, giving you my top recommendations so that you know exactly which shades you need to purchase because it's holiday season, which means you need a good red, okay? You need a good red, you need a good berry for your holiday parties, for your New Year's Eve parties. And when I say parties, I mean your solo parties. So what that you have in the living room, where you FaceTime and you join your friends on Zoom because that is the vibe for this year. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. I'm gonna start off Oh, there's a lot of glosses. The Juvia's Place Lip Gloss Formula is amazing. I literally love them. I love their glosses. They are so, 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 so good. So I cannot wait to get into them. So the collection comes with six lip glosses, nine matte lipsticks, and two liquid lipsticks. I'm going to get started with the liquid lipsticks first, just because, you know, we're gonna get what may be the most uncomfortable part over with. So this is what the packaging of the liquid lipsticks look like. And then the two shades here are Scarlet and Red Velvet. So the first shade that I'm gonna go ahead and try on is Red Velvet. It smells so good. Like this literally smells like candy. All right guys, so this is what red velvet looks like. I feel like this is a true tone red. It doesn't have a super strong blue base. I feel like there definitely is some blue in there, um, but it is really gorgeous. These matte lipsticks are matte. You feel the madness, but they're not super, super drying. I did let this one dry down in particular just so that I can tell you guys what the formula feels like. The pigment is amazing, um, but this is what red velvet is. The next shade I'm going to be going in with is Scarlet. Wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. Y'all, look at how stunning this red is. I'm not even trying to move my lips too much because I want it to dry so you can see how popping it looks, but it looks so good. These are the shade swatch and I'll put them on the screen. My favorite is definitely Scarlet. When it dries down, it dries down to be super, super, super matte. Like matte, but it's not uncomfortable, which I love. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I really, really love this lipstick. So now we're getting into the berries. The berries collection comes with three different matte lipsticks. So I'm going to start with the one that looks the lightest, and that is going to be Odam. This is what Odam looks like. It is so beautiful. And I'm applying all of these lipsticks with no liner, just because you guys know, I like for you to see the true pigment. Wow. Wow. Wow, oh damn, oh damn is right. Oh damn, damn you look good. Damn your lips are snatched. Oh damn that color looks good on you. This is really a, let me stop cursing. But y'all, this lipstick formula, it is so buttery as it is going on my lips. You guys know how I said my lips felt a little dry from the matte lipsticks. Not that the matte lipsticks themselves are super drying, but y'all know when you apply lipstick swatches, you're taking it off with a makeup remover, wipe your lips, get dry. I feel like this wore back all the hydration, all the life, all the moisture that my lip needed. I'm going to look up the ingredients to see if this, what is it? Cause it feels almost like a butter. Like it's so smooth. Got lipstick on tea, hold on y'all. Hang on. Look at this shade, bro. Show Aisha. Y'all might not be getting no lipsticks. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. So, y'all, I promised my friend and my roommate that any shades that I didn't like, I would get to them. And at this point, they're not getting anything. <laughs> they're not walking away with anything. 
This is Drama Queen. One swipe. One swipe. Chi Chi! I said wow. Do y'all see what I see? Is it just me? Y'all. Oh my God. This is the perfect berry tone for deep skin. The perfect berry tone. Like, they mastered it. They mastered it. Like, it looks so, I said, wow. And the last berry shade that I'm trying on is called Frenemy. I hope y'all don't got no frenemies, and if you do, get rid of them, y'all. This shade, oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful, vampy, purple, almost dark brown shade. Let's get into it. It's like so dark purple that it's almost brown. Oh my goodness. Nah. They did that. I'm not gonna lie. They did that. Three lipstick swatch on my hand. I will put the shade names on the screen. Honestly, all of the berries are gorgeous. I can't pick a favorite. I cannot pick a favorite between these three. I love them all so much. Like these are so good, so buttery, like wow. All right guys, so these are the six lipsticks that come in the red. Three red shades that are darker and then three red shades that are lighter. I'm definitely, I already know, gonna be leaning more towards the shades that are darker, that have more of a blue base undertone, but I'm willing to give them all a shot. So the first shade we have in the red is Fierce. This is like the red for people that are afraid of reds, if that makes sense. Like if you are someone that is afraid of red lipstick, you typically stay away from it because you don't like the way you necessarily look, even though I'm sure you look beautiful in your red. This is the red lipstick for you. This is gorgeous. Juvia's, Juvia's, y'all don't be feeling myself. Like, this is probably one of the best lipstick formulas I've ever tried, literally. This is in the shade Rouge. So this is pretty much like a basic red. Like, that's the only way I can explain, explain it. It's not too blue, it's not too bright, it's not too dark. It's literally just a basic, simple, everyday red. This is the red that I would say you can wear to work. Not like you can't wear red to work at all, but this is an everyday red shade. That's how I would describe this. And then the last red from this deep red section is going to be Wood Girl, which looks like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is gorgeous. How is every shade so beautiful? Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to look back at the footage to see which ones are my favorite. What was said about red on dark skin? What was said about red on black women? Come again? Juvia's place that we got a red for everybody. So these are the swatches of the three red lipsticks. And what I love is that all of them have differences, but there's slight differences. So one looks a bit more red, one has a bit more orange, one is a bit more true red with a blue base. Okay, so now that we're done with the darker reds, I feel like now we're gonna get into the brighter reds. And already I see a shade here called Afrique, and I feel like they have a liquid lipstick in the shade Afrique that is red, so if that's this, if this is like the matte lipstick version of it, then it's definitely going to be a bright red. This is the shade So Red, and it literally lives up to its name. It is so red. 
This is like a bright, bold red. I feel like this is one of those reds that has no undertone, it's just red. Red on top of red on top of red. And what I want y'all to see as well is that my lips are pretty much stained from the red lipsticks. It happens with wearing liquid lipsticks and red lipsticks and trying on so many dark shades. Your lips are going to stain, but this formula and these lipsticks are so pigmented that they completely cover what else is under there. So if you are someone that has hyperpigmentation on your lips, you have different tones lips, that is absolutely normal, especially if you're a person of color, these lipsticks will cover it all, honey. It will cover them all. This is in the shade name Afrique. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This red is like an orange base red. It has some hints of orange in it. It's bright, still wearable. I think any red, any color tone is wearable on anybody of any skin complexion personally. But I feel like if you are someone that is afraid of really bright lipsticks but you still want to try a bright red, this is where you should start. It's a mixture of red, a mixture of orange. It's bright, not too bright, still toned down. And with a brown liner, a black liner, you would kill it. And then the last red of this section is So Fierce, which looks like this. Y'all, do not ask me to swatch any lipsticks for a while. Oh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. This is so gorgeous, oh my gosh. This is what I would say is like the perfect, dang, I'm saying everything is the perfect red. Like, I don't know which ones to pick. Everyone looks so good, how? How? Like seriously, how? Of the three that I tried, of like the bright reds, this is definitely my favorite. I love, 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 love this one so much. This one is gorgeous. And this one got me feeling myself. No wonder, this is called Perfect Red. That's exactly what it is. This is exactly what it is. This is the perfect red. These are the swatches of those shades with their names. My perfect of this bunch, or my favorite of this bunch, is definitely going to be Perfect Red because it is exactly as it is described. It is the perfect, perfect, perfect red. Then the last part of the collection, we have four Lips Reflect Glosses, which I'm assuming are the lip glosses that have tons of pigment. Two glass lip glosses. And if these are anything like the lip glosses from the Nudes collection, I already know I'm going to love these. Okay, so from the lip glosses, two of them are red glosses and two of them are berries. So here's what the red glosses look like. I hope they don't fall from my hand. Here's what the reds look like. And then here is what the berries look like. All right, so the first that I'm gonna go in with is the one that I think is going to be my favorite, is Cultured. These smell so good. This is beautiful. This is the perfect blue base red. Count how many times I said perfect in this uh, review. Whoever gets it right first, I'll give you two lipsticks of your choosing from this collection. Not anything that I swatch, but I'll literally buy you two and send it to you. I believe you have to, no, Juvia's Place ships internationally. So literally count how many times I said perfect in this review. This is gorgeous. The next one that I have to try on is called Cherry Love. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is like, it's literally like a cherry red color. Literally, it's called Cherry Love, and it's like a cherry red. Whoever came up with these names knew exactly what they were doing. They knew the products down to the T. They knew how to, to, to describe it. They knew everything, like, with the way that they named this. But this is so gorgeous. I'm feeling myself. So this is what the two of them look like swatched. 
All right, y'all, we down to the wire. No one, there's another two after this. All right, these are the last four shades of the collection. So the one that I'm about to swatch now was called She's Royal. Whoa. You know what I love about these glosses as well? You don't get any stickiness. Like they're thick, they're glossy, they're high shine, but you don't get that. You know some glosses when you move them too much, you get like that white line, the goop from it? You don't get that. So you get everything that you love about the extra thick and juicy glosses without the hassle. Like it's just, this formula is amazing. Their glosses are A1. I love this shade. I feel like this is just a perfect deep purple. Like it's just, it's literally perfect. It's literally perfect. This is probably the best review I've ever given. Like I have nothing bad to say. Wow. Um, but I'm really excited for this shade, which is maroon, just because it has reflex of almost like silver in them. And I think those reflex were to help add that high shine factor to it because it is such a deep, deep color. But y'all see the shine that is just peeking through. This is for my African aunties. This is for my African aunties that love the deep purples. I feel like we all have that African aunt that loves her a good deep purple. This is this is just like, was it Fierce? I'll put the name of it on the screen. Where it's so deep and so purple and so violet that it almost looks brown slash black. This is your perfect vampy purple. Wow. At this point, we just know. I don't know what's going on in the Juvia's lab. I don't know what they doing, but everybody else needs to catch up. Because these formulas, honey, let's provide a side-by-side -side for you guys of this as well. Just so you can see what they swatch like. Dang, I don't know. I don't know which one I should do first because I feel like whatever, whichever one I do, I'm going to end the look off with it. I think I'm going to do the red first and end off with the purple. So the redder one is called Ruby Rose. Oh, this is so cute. This reminds me, these are my glosses you could get like teenagers. See, now when I was a teenager, I couldn't wear makeup, period. Okay. But if you want to get a gloss for a teenager in your life, if you are someone that you like more lip oils, you want a tint of color, nothing too much, this will be perfect for you. It's super like feminine. It gives like a nice pinky rose look. I know you can't see it that much just because of how much lipstick I've had on and how pigmented it is, um, or the lipsticks were, but this is gorgeous. It's just like a nice cherry. Okay, this last shade is called Sweet Beats. Super pretty. I'm trying to pack them on so that you can see the color payoff. But of course, I'm going to also swatch them on my hands for you guys to see. Quick. Literally just light tints of those shades. I feel like they're showing up on camera as a clear gloss, but they definitely have the scent visible to them. This is cute. Y'all, I've been feeling myself this entire review just because these lip colors look so good. All right, guys, now that I'm done swatching all of the lipsticks, all of the liquid lipsticks, all of the glosses, I'm just gonna swatch on my hands the liners so you guys can see what they look like just so you can get like a shade reference I'm not gonna apply them um, just because I told you guys I typically like to do my lipstick review showing you what the color looks like there just so you can get an idea of it for yourself here are the two lip liners that come in the collection so the red one is called Ruby and then the almost the whitish looking one um, is called wine the one that has more of a purple tint honestly guys we can get straight into the pros and the cons you guys know whenever it comes to any products I always give you the pros the cons and I'm going to be completely honest and say I can't think of any cons right now because 
the price point amazing super affordable especially for the quality that you're getting the lipsticks are glossy high shine but they don't have this that gook that comes sometimes when your lipstick lip glosses are too sticky the formula is amazing when it comes to especially the glosses and the lipsticks i have never tried lipsticks that are this buttery i don't know what they did i don't know how they changed the formula i don't know but literally it felt like butter going on my lips the the the, the formula is amazing the pigmentation you guys saw one swipe you saw the color you saw the payoff even when i still have tints or hints of the red or the purple on my lips by the time i applied the next lipstick it was completely gone and that actual lip shade took over okay so we said formula we said pigmentation we said price point no gook on the lip glosses like what more could you ask for i don't know what more i could ask for in a lipstick in the shade range was amazing the nudes that they came out with, they came out with new lipsticks, and those new lipsticks were beautiful. I was able to pick my favorite from different categories. Um, but I feel like this collection, if I had to compare the two as far as nailing it for different complexions, the Reds and the Berries collection got it. I genuinely felt like they sat down in the office and they said, red lipsticks are something that you know women of color people of color for so long have complained about not having it's always been accessible to one category of people slash it's always been deemed as beautiful only on one category of people and they said we are going to make a red and a berry lipstick for every single person that may be interested regardless of their preference if you want a bright red you got it you want an orange tone red you got it you want a blue base red you got it you want a red that's going to show up and you have pale skin you got it you want a red that's going to look good and compliment you and you have dark skin and you got it like literally I was sitting here swatching every single product and I kept saying this is perfect, this is perfect, this is perfect because I couldn't find a different way to describe the lipstick or the shade itself. Juvia Place, Juvia's Place, Chi Chi, y'all did that. Y'all did that. And not just did y'all do that from the shades y'all came out with, even the names perfectly matched <laughs> like the shade itself. Like, I said wow. I said wow, I am shocked. I'm speechless. I am baffled. I am bewildered. Like they really, really did that. And I literally love every single one. Again, I told y'all, I promised my friend and my roommate that I would let them have whichever shades weren't like my favorite. And I'm literally sitting here like I feel bad for even saying that because I don't know what shades to give them. Because I love all of them. Literally every single one. If I had to pick a category of breads that were my least favorite, it would definitely be those super, super, super bright ones. But even in that category of bread, I had my favorite. And that's just my personal preference when it comes to red lipsticks. But literally beyond those two, every single, every everything else after that, I would wear every single one. Like, I, I literally can get rid of every other red I have in my collection. That's how much I love this formula, the pigment, the shades. I feel like I can get rid of any other red that I have. They are bomb bomb for the liquid lipsticks um i'm wondering why this is like the only question i have i wonder why juvia's place keeps doing the liquid lipsticks in mini everything else was large size they are definitely much smaller than minis in comparison to let me just show y'all the size of the other one in comparison to this so i'm just curious as to why the liquid lipsticks are minis the liquid lipsticks for the Wahala 2 palette that came out, the bundle, those were also mini. So I'm just curious as to why they don't have any full-size liquid lipsticks. These smell so good. All of these lipsticks smell really, really good as well. Um, the formula was great. It was matte, but it didn't leave my lips feeling crumbly. I do have to try these for like a full day or for a few hours to really be able to tell you, you know, how the matte wear of it is. But it wasn't super uncomfortable. It dried down matte. The way it applied it, the way it dried down, it was the same shade. Like, y'all, 10 out of 10. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this review. It was a raving, a glowing review. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I can say I 1,000% endorse every single product that they just came out with with this launch. You will find something for you regardless of who you are and what you like. So definitely check them out. I hope that the swatches I provided helped you. Um, with being with being able to figure out which shade you should go with um if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel comment down below how many times i said perfect and remember i'll pick the first person 
and they will get two lipsticks of their choosing from this collection. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.